Chef Jacques Therese doesn't just have a store, he has a unique chocolate factory right here in the heart of Manhattan. US about 20 years ago uh, and I worked for about 12 years at Le Cirque. So I was a pastry chef there. Um, we had a team of 12 people in pastry and you know about 12 years. Before that I worked one year for the Ritz Carlton. So I start in Rancho Mirage next to Palm Spring, California. Just love it. Beautiful place. Then I moved to Atlanta for six months also and that was a, a total of one year. Mm -hmm. And after that year of Ritz Carlton, I worked for Le Cirque for 12 years and then I opened my own business. So I'm, I am in this country for a little bit more than 20 years now. I started this company about um, eight years ago um, in a little place called Dumbo. Dumbo is uh, under the Brooklyn Bridge. It means down under the Manhattan Pass, the Manhattan Bridge of a pass. Um, there was no retail store, and that was a pretty depressed area business-wise. So eight years ago, I rent uh, about 5,000 square foot there, and with two friends, we build it from scratch. We, we, uh, we straight up the floor, we put some sheet rack, I build a store, and I opened a small chocolate manufacturer with even a smaller store. The store was just a counter. And interestingly, right away, uh, people from Brooklyn, people from Manhattan, people from all around New York start to come to that place and buy chocolates. And then we start to do some hot chocolates maybe eight to ten months later. And cho hot chocolate was um, not something you know, common at that time. So I had to go out, offer some hot chocolate. Every customer who come in the store offer some hot chocolate. And I did that for a couple of weeks. And then the hot chocolate start, start to, to, to become very popular. The chocolate was, was, was working very well. And that's how we start uh, this company. So this is a very interesting piece of equipment. Uh -huh. What's going on here is we will put about 100 pounds of almonds or macadamia. Then we will turn the machine on. <laughs> so the machine is going to spin. And then we're going to drizzle chocolates on top until we reach two or 250 pounds of finished product. So the almonds get completely coated with the chocolates or the macadamia get completely coated with the chocolates. Then we stop the machine, then we put a little bit of glaze and take them out. So this is a big oven and we bake all our chocolate chips cookies in there. So we can put all rack. So that's a lot of cookies. And, uh, and of course we bake a lot of cookies every week. Another uh, interesting piece of equipment here. This is a chocolate beans, a cacao bean roaster. So we put the cacao bean from the top and the roaster going to roast those beans for about 20 to 25 minutes. Then the beans going to fall into um, this, this chutes and go into another piece of equipment that's going to cool them down. The cacao beans come in and, uh, and end up there. So those, those are the Those are cacao beans. They look like almonds. Uh -huh. uh, they, have some, they have some type of a shell on top. And I then what, what you have inside is called the nibs. So cacao beans, then cacao nibs. The nibs are little pieces. So you can taste that if you want. This is very strong. This is the pure, the purest chocolate that you can taste. The so of Lucy is, a, is an enrobing machine with a conveyor belt and that conveyor belt is refrigerated so when you put a, a pretzels as an example on that machine the pretzels will go to the refrigerator and when you come out it's ready to put into a box so we have this machine here and i have another machine like that in brooklyn the one the one in brooklyn is a big machine the one here is a little bit smaller actually certainly the size that the one in all of lucy what's going on with this machine is this machine will have paper coming out here and foil coming out here. So when the machine is running, 
the paper moves this way. Then you have those little pinch here that pull the paper. And then we have scissors here that are going to cut the, the, that paper. Then those little pinch here move the paper this way. The chocolate bar move in that direction. And the paper going to be folded around the chocolate bar. And then come up here at about 80 pieces each minute. So it's a lot of, a lot of chocolate bar getting wrapped into that thing. When I grew up again in the south of France, I used to know the fishermen. I, I can go buy the fish from the guy who was catching that fish. And my mom, I remember my mom to go to the market and telling the, 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 the gentleman who sell uh, the vegetable and the fruits, I want a melon and we're going to eat that melon tonight. When I moved to America, I realized that we lost here the contact with who do what. Everything is under cellophane and, and we kind of lost the idea of where things come from. So when I opened my store in Manhattan, I decided that from the window, you will not see the store. Here, I want people to see a manufacturer. I want New Yorkers to understand this is real. This is a real place where we are making the chocolate and we are so serious about it that you can see anything from the store, which is on the middle of the manufacturer or from the streets, directly on the streets, the window uh, of our manufacturer are there. So I'm very serious about who do what, and if you like a product or if you dislike a product, you can tell me. I'm here, I'm here all day. You can see me walking, call me. Let me know what you like and what you dislike. So to me, that, that was very important to do something like that. The store has the shape of a cacao pod. So it's oval like a cacao pod, and the customer will be inside like the cacao beans. Uh, the other side of the store represents New York with big pipes coming out of the ceiling with the air condition on the chocolate counter. That's, that's a little bit more New York. And of course, we have a, a, a sculpture on the ceiling representing the flow of the chocolates from the manufacturer to the bar. You know, after all those years working in, in, uh, in chocolates, lately, the, the past few years, it's a lot of uh, scientists I mean, real scientists, not um, you know, just just professional chocolatier, but real sci scientists who find that eating chocolate is good for you. It's good for your health. It's good for your mind. Uh, chocolate is a moon elevator. Chocolate has the same chemical that your brain produces when you're in love. So imagine now you eat chocolates and you are as happy that when you're in love. Um, and chocolate is good for your health. Chocolate has more antioxidant than green tea. Um, chocolate is good for your blood uh, cells. I mean, chocolate is, has a lot of uh, good side. I'm opening for Valentine, um, I think the 13th of February. I'm opening a, a new store in Atlantic City at the Harris Hotel. So that's one thing that I'm doing uh, very soon. Um, and otherwise, you know, check our website, check what's going on with us. We we'll always come up with new flavor, with different things. Um, here, I try to do more and more events on the weekend, so that's also something to check on, on our website. So for great chocolate or unique gifts for this Valentine's Day, make sure to log on to MrChocolate.com. Back over to you in the studio.